it's Amber. It's way in Wednesday and I am on my way to the gym right now. But let's jump in and look at the scale. What? Happy dance. I made it to Wonderland. I am so excited. I can remember watching The Biggest Loser with my family and listening to them talk about Wonderland. And to me, that was something I felt like I would never get to. Um, I've been 200 pounds for quite some time now. So I really just felt like it was kind of um, unattainable. So to make it here on week five, I am so excited. Um, I had a pretty good week this week. Um, it was my daughter Zoe's birthday. So we made some keto cupcakes. I'll link that down below. They were really good. Um, they were made with coconut flour. So my son could eat them too. And I was very excited about that. Um, for those of y'all that don't know, my 12-year-old uh, has autism and he has many food allergies, including nuts, peanuts, and tree nuts. So we cannot use almond flour recipes and him be able to eat them. So we found a good coconut flour recipe and he was able to eat them. We did not use her um, icing, but it was still good. Um, so we did that for her birthday party. I did not cheat one single time. We had it at Chuck E. Cheese. I did not have pizza. In fact, it didn't even look good to me. Um, so I guess at week five, I'm feeling good and I'm down in my weight and I'm just trying to stay on plan and finding things to help me stay on plan with foods that I would normally like to eat. Um, so Pizza, we found a good recipe. The cupcakes, we found a good recipe. Um, we've been making these French toast uh, egg muffins for breakfast. They're really good because eggs are just not really my thing. Um, and so, anyways, I feel like, I mean, it's going well. And so, I'm going to just keep trucking along this journey. Um... My heaviest weight was uh, 228. That's the heaviest weight I ever had on a scale. Um, I'm sure I was heavier than that, but I did not weigh myself. So I was 228 and I am now in Wonderland. So that is 30 pounds gone from what I believe is my heaviest weight. Um, I guess my heaviest recorded weight. And so... That is, it's crazy. Um, my daughter is 40 pounds and she's so heavy. So I don't understand 30 pounds. I mean, I, that was a lot of weight to be carrying around. So i um, very excited and thankful for keto. I'm excited and thankful for everybody that I have been following. Um, and this time it really worked for me. I dibbled with it once before a couple years ago and I just didn't stay on track. And if you don't stay on track, it doesn't work. Um, you can't go one day on, one day off. It doesn't work that way. Um, I was continually feeling bad. Um, I was having headaches and I was sick and I just didn't feel good. I was keto flu all the time because I just kept going in and out. And this time, I have been more on track. I've been drinking my apple cider vinegar tea. Um, I've been making sure to get my fats in, get my salt in. You know, vitamins are very important on keto. Um, so, just trying to get all those in. And I feel a lot better this time. I have a lot more natural energy. I don't have to drink as much caffeine. Um, I'm down to drinking one Coke a day, which is pretty good for me. Well, one Diet Coke a day. Um, and I just, I'm feeling a lot better. So, 
Uh, I'd like to hear below how y'all are doing on your journeys. If you would, just comment down below. Let me know. Um, and let's get on with what I ate in a day. On hey, it's breakfast time. This morning, I'm going to have some caramel vanilla green mountain coffee with this new keto collagen vanilla. Um, I don't really think it's sweet enough, so I'm going to put just one square to Splenda in with it and a little bit of salt to get my salt intake. So let's get coffee making. at that beautifulness so along with my collagen mct oil coffee this morning i'm also going to have a low sugar detour bar this is the chocolate chip caramel it has 17 total carbs one fiber and then 13 sugar alcohols so that makes it um three net carbs so that's breakfast. We'll see y'all at lunch. Okay, it's lunchtime. So as you can see here, I have um, about three ounces of sausage. And then this is my creamed spinach I made the other day. It has um, spinach, garlic, butter, Parmesan cheese, and cream cheese. And Hubby said that's like his favorite way to eat spinach now. So... This is tonight for dinner. We're having bratwurst with three pepper and onion blend. We added mushrooms to it. I'm having it on a low carb tortilla. It's this uh, low carb brand, and it's pretty good.